Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> okay. Um, right after Bach drops the uh, troll hound, uh, the doors to the gatehouse uh, open, and you see two trolls and three goblins inside the gatehouse. And Vitager, you're up. You there, Vittager? Okay, Darius, we'll let you go first, then. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> it's all right. Where, where, where are goblins? The G's and the T's to the north of the gatehouse. Oh. The doors just opened up, and we see a bunch of trolls and goblins. Oh, not good. Okay. There's a troll right there in the door, huh? Mm -hmm. And those doors are open? Uh, yes. Okay, uh, I guess I'm gonna go and engage that troll so he doesn't get out. Not happy about this. <laughs> uh, he gets an attack of opportunity most likely on me. But if he doesn't want to take it, I'm not going to fight him on it. Uh, give me just a second. <laughs> no problem. Hey. Uh, that's... Uh, Eight. <laughs> and he brings at you with claw. Ouch. And does hit. Damn. Okay, and you're up. Okay. Take that back. Okay. And the two goblins are just kind of hanging out for a moment. Right, Darius will move up and toss 
one of his bombs towards the guy, uh, towards the trolls. And then you can the splash damage. But <laughs> I don't actually I don't know um I don't think they automatically have <laughs> you might have to if they made their saves it would be halved for anyone that made a save. Uh <clears throat> Yeah, troll troll number 1 succeeded. Uh but you took out two goblins just from splash damage. <laughs> <laughs> And let's see. Troll two. Oh wait, troll so troll one we've only taken four damage then. Cause I don't think it gave him any I think it just put on the goblins. Uh that's Ah, um, I've never seen this before. <laughs> oh, it just, it just means that if you do acid or fire damage to them, they don't regen, um, on their turn. Oh, it didn't work though. Is that what happened? Did he take the four damage and he just regenerated uh, it? But no, he didn't take any. Uh, uh, that's what I'm wondering. Um, maybe the Regen 5. You know, you no, gotta do. no it, that because that's what kills trolls is acid and fire. Because otherwise they heal every round. Ah, uh, got it. So he would have taken 4. Okay. Dad yeah, never seen an effect pop up with disabled before. Hmm. And that was Troll One, and he. Well, it disabled their ability, right? Yeah, I think that's the idea. Is it yeah. means yeah. that he wouldn't have healed. Yay! Okay, large should be able to move through a lot now because you got footage you're blocking the way. Yep. Yep. Uh, he's just gonna stay there. I really don't know what to have, but here I do. <laughs> I think for this turn anyway, I'm just going to have him take guard and just stay back here. Yeah, I'll see how it goes next turn. Or okay. was a good just delay or something. Do a ready to action. Sure. Ready to pounce. Ready to pounce. Okay, troll number two is, uh, well, gone after Vittager. And we got one bite and one claw. Nope, don't like it. That got ugly quick.
Alright, I think I'm gonna move up. Will, uh, is all, this is kinda out of character, but will all damage done, if it's not fire, regenerate the next turn, or? No, so long as we do some fire or acid, that disables their regeneration for that round. Okay. All right, that should be his turn. <clears throat> well, Lonely Sword's over in the corner having a beer. He could walk behind me and use the wand if he wanted to do something simple. Uh, that he could do. Would a 14 have hit? Forgot to do my point blank. Since he had it out and didn't have his weapons, works. <laughs> uh, 14 would would not have. Okay, no math, no problem. And let me find his wands. Yeah. Okay. Uh That guy's dying. Yes, he is. Okay. Uh and you might be in a moment as well. <laughs> well, we're going to try to stave that off. First, I'm going to try and put this guy down. Um, I have a full attack now. How do I set the second attack up? And you should be able to, in your weapon... See how there's the multiple boxes? You should be able yeah, to just yeah. set your per attack bonus for the next yes, one to minus the, five, right? The number of attacks, the number ATT, just click in there and change that up to two or whatever. Number ATT, I don't... Uh, that, pound, that pound or hashtag ATT right next to, right before the attacks. That was me. <laughs> if you're in on your uh, actions and your weapon. Yeah, that's where I'm at. So it there's, yeah. Per the attack bonus, but I have zeros across the board. It says stat bonus, per attack bonus. Sorry that I'm not. No, oh, no, no, sorry, on your main screen. If you go yeah. not in that, uh, not under the micro, on, not on the magnifying glass. But if you just go out to the base action tab, there's a there's a spot right beside the attacks column. That's just the the pound sign, and then ATT. If you change that from a one to a two for your great sword, or any of your other attacks for that matter. Thank you. There we go. Okay. So yeah, now I'm gonna lay into him. Let's see you do it. No, I'm not. Never mind. And then I'm going to swift action uh, lay on hands myself. <laughs> and heal 11.
I feel better. You look better too. Yeah, although if he does that amount of damage again, I still might be on the floor. <laughs> Well, it's up to you to save Vittager, Darius. User joined your channel. So yes, Aiden will send his tumor familiar crawling up Vittager's back. <laughs> and... Well, you know, so be so creepy. Because, you know, I'm an alchemist in a gothic setting. What better way to do it? Are you going to cut off your arms and replace them ever? Uh, we'll see. <laughs> that's, that's one of the discoveries. Tumor Familiar will heal him, and while he's doing that, Darius will chuck a bomb at the trolls again. And splash damage. It, it's eight acid damage. I can apply it or... Oh, I guess it, they both failed since my arrows didn't disappear this time. Uh, yes, that is correct. Oh, another goblin damage. No! Oh, he's just mad back there. Uh, yes, he is. Uh... You just want to hang out, Vajira? Ah, uh, I really don't know. If he goes up there, he's just going to be in the way. Yeah. That went better. Yes, it did. All right, let's try this again. And Lonely Sword, you used one of those on uh, Vittager's Vittager earlier in the round. Yeah, like almost right away. <laughs> okay. Thank you. <laughs> Yikes. It just won't die. Right? Ah, shit. There should be another... <laughs> Point of damage to that for the point blank because that's uh, is that attack and damage or just attack? Yes, I might have a brain fart. Keep forgetting to add that to it. We have to talk to Leland about the greetings. Yes, yeah, he invites us, and then he's six <laughs> troll hounds and trolls on us. It's possible that we shouldn't have defended him after all. It's almost like he's a golem who can be controlled by the person that created him. And has no free will of his own. Someone disabled it? Yay! Yes, that extra point. Now the other one can come and try to kill me. <laughs> Oh, 
Who keeps trolls as major domos? I'm going to cast Soundburst. My favorite person right now, Lonely Sword. So, troll number one is stunned, and uh, the other troll is dead. And I think the goblin might have already been dying. <laughs> Just dying a little bit more. And then I will move up and in. And, oh, wait, let me measure that. Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. I'm going to tumble through his square into here. Okay, uh, you are on this side of the door. Just. Oh, and that door's closed? Yes. Oh. Go to the right, Lonely Sword. I can go to the left. Yeah, I'll have to. There's no room then. All right, I'll just move here. Tumbled right into the closed door. Yeah. It was very impressive until, you know, you kind of smacked your face. I'm assuming oh. I see him a little rocked, so I'm going to... He, he is stunned, too, so he drops anything he's holding. So if he had a shield, he loses that bonus. And uh, the stunned negatives should be built into the stunned effect. I was going to have to uh, get, take a hit on the way in anyway, so... Um, no, you don't. no, you don't. He's stunned. No, I know, but if he wasn't, I was going to have to take a hit anyway. All right, so um, I get flanking, right? You're threatening there? Yep, I am. Yay! My one hand has a weapon in it. How do I add that again? I can throw it on you. Hold on. Cool, cool. I just put two in the modifier box. So you don't have to removing effects and stuff. Damn, I'm rolling like crap. Throwing a bomb at me? Absolutely. Well, not at you. Just no. You never throw it at me, but somehow it always manages to hit me. <laughs> oh, crit hit. Ow. Nice. Ouch. Yes. You, you killed Very my nice. troll. <laughs> and your goblins. Their trolls were double tap. I don't I don't parlay with trolls. I don't talk to them afterwards. I make sure they're dead. Luckily her bomb would have killed the one that's down and dying as well. Hey, I double check and check. Doing all of them. Okay. Maybe that's just a greeting up here in Schloss Karamark. <laughs> Their hospitality could use some work. <laughs> oh, just a little bit. Um Okay, you're standing in this broad chamber. There's a vaulted roof. Um, there are two uh, fires burning in the room. Um, and you see spiral staircases in each corner going up toward the ceiling. Um, you do notice that the uh, gate on the northern door 
is barricaded with timber and furniture. From our side? Yes, from your side. Well, Maybe we want to consider going up and see what's on the other side. I'd like not to, but I think we must. And what were they? Were they trying to sack the place? Uh, no, you can... Uh, it looks like they were on guard duty. And why barricade the, the doors moving onto the bridge? Ah, uh, weird. Okay, um... It's probably worth... Maybe we should search them before we go up? Oh, yeah. Maybe. Detect maybe magic. A search. Cave troll or something in there. Or, you know, there's always a bigger fish. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to lean over towards the stairwell and detect evil upward. Just because they're a troll doesn't mean they're evil. I'm not worried about trolls at this point. I'm worried about whatever else Leland has as the welcoming committee. Well, you know, it's not necessarily his castle. Just his angry dad. Absolutely. Uh, which stairwell are you going up? I'm not going up any stairwell. I'm leaning into the stairwell near me and detecting Detect evil upward. Uh, yes, uh, you are detecting evil. Yeah, we have more friends above us. Or do we? Well, not really friends. Should we go up the four stairwells? Uh, uh, wait a minute, wait a minute, let me... Okay, you are not detecting evil coming from the stairwell to the north of you. Okay. Perhaps not then. Um, however, from the uh, from the southwest stairwell, uh, you are detecting evil. Okay. I'm going to go sneak up the stairs. Okay, um, when you get up there, uh, as you're coming around the stairs, um, you notice a, uh, an intruder that is, um, He's heard that he is ready for you. He has uh, heard the sounds of combat. And he is armed with a uh, large, heavy crossbow. Um, 
Would you like to re-roll initiatives? No, I would not. Too late. I didn't know declining was an option. Okay, you are coming up the stairs and you slide your map over to the left a little bit. You'll see it. Yep. And Gork here. I don't uh, see him. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how I missed him. Um so am I am I like right beside him now? Uh you you are kind of peeking around the corner of the stairwell looking at him. Okay. Um if I get creature Gork is uh Gork is a troll. If I get any uh, time here, if he hasn't seen me yet, uh, I'm going to activate my, uh, the, uh, what's it called? You know that thing. Blessing, that's the one. No, a troll. Uh, you're activating your what? Uh, activate my blessing if I can. Uh, has he seen me yet? Like, are we in real combat here? Do I have some time? Uh, you know what? You knew that there was uh, evil up ahead, so you would have activated it on the stairs. All right. Sounds good to me. And then he's going to shoot your ass. <laughs> I request cover, please. No, you get partial cover. <laughs> ha! Same thing, Pathfinder. <laughs> Damn, we didn't confirm. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, please let this hurt. Yeah, he rolled pretty decently. And he drops the crossbow. All right, so he's unarmed. So did Vidager, I'm assuming that you let us know that there was evil. Yes, yeah, I, would have, I would have okay. warned that there's evil above. I'm, I'm going to yell down, Ogre, Ogre, help! Ogre, now you've given us false information. Is it? Oh, troll, that's right. I keep thinking ogre. <laughs> it's an ogre troll. Ogre troll. Alright, Darius will go up the northwest stairwell. Okay, um... Yeah, I'm gonna go up the one, right, uh, the north one. Oh, you went that way. Damn it! All right. Uh, you could you could get by me though, couldn't you? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I can get to like there, I think. Okay. If I have to open doors, then I would just probably be here. Uh, yes, you have to open doors. I'm not the fastest fella. That's gonna take you guys a while. We're trying to get there. All right, I'm gonna follow up the southwest stairwell and go behind him. I don't know if there'd be any room out there. How how uh, high are the stairs? How many feet? 
Or I should say, how yeah. many steps does it take to get... Well, that's a good question, because it's probably uh, difficult terrain as well. Let's see... I'm going to say probably 20 feet. Okay. So I basically get right up to the behind him there, behind Lonely Sword. Um, your call, is there going to be enough room to squeeze past a fire shot? I'm going to guess probably not. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I would let you get there beside of him. Other side. <laughs> Are you thinking inside the room? Yeah. Wasn't sure I wanted inside the room, but okay. That'll work. Uh... <laughs> I was just going to stay behind him in the stairwell. Oh, oh well, <laughs> if, if you want to stay behind him in the stairwell, then slide back over the other side. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. I think I'm too far. I, I'm assuming I'm too far. I'm behind cover to even squeeze a shot. I mean, just unless he had like a magic arrow that would go around corners. Yeah. That would. All right. We'll that would be call. the case. Call that there, ready to action for if something opens up. And he's going to follow me up and stay behind me, if we can do that. Okay. Thank you. Conga line on the southwest stairs. Hmm. I'll move out and go to the square down here if I can. Uh, uh who was the? Does anyone r remember the love boat? Was it Charo who did the coochie coochie coo? <laughs> yeah, I think so. <laughs> I can just see uh, Lonely Sword doing that while the rest of the Congo line comes out. <laughs> And I'm going to fever. And cast a cure mod on myself. As soon as I can find it. And I will use Grace for that. I can spontaneously cast cures. And he manages to bite and claw you once. I'm going to hold until after Vittiger goes. If I can drop my initiative down until just after him. It might not help me very much. Um, okay. The door there, Vittiger. Yeah, I know. So I move. Open the door. He's still kind of far from me, right? Yeah, there's another door still. No, I, I take a five foot step and open. I don't know if I have to take well, five or ten feet. I'm a little lost on distance there. Uh, I'll give you five feet. Okay, so uh, I'll take a five foot step then and open the next door. And I'm still out of reach, but I'm within another five foot step of wagging him, so that's better. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay. All right, we're gonna come out and poke my head out a little bit, and we're gonna fire an arrow at him. Just remember every the arrow provokes in melee. Oh shit, that's right, I'm not range. Uh, I'm, 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 yeah. There, there's a feat that makes it so you don't. So you, you might want to grab that eventually. Yeah, eventually. Uh, let's see. Let's. Oh, fire the arrow. <laughs> Be a man. Is that a good example for Bajira? He just wants to hit you. And you are correct. <laughs> I would have gone for the trip. You can you can do trips or disarms in place of tactical opportunity. When someone shoots a bow at me in melee, I'm disarming them or tripping them. <laughs> <laughs> you can't shoot a bow while you're prone. It completely screws this turn. You got another damage roll, Torn. Here I'm talking away, asking questions, realize I wasn't pushing the button to talk. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, how come nobody's answered me? Uh, we, we just don't like it. I was wondering if, uh, how come when that rolls, you got to roll the damage for each one that hits? Yes. Yes. I thought I'd just roll it once and it applied. Okay, learned that lesson. Thank you. Now we see how the DM wants to play this. Is there enough room to squeeze by there? If you uh, say yes, I'm going to be amazed. Uh, now I'm going to have to say no. Good, that makes it easier. Thank you. Uh, he's still up and about. All right. Let's see if he's still up and about after this. Wow. Okay, he is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you were really open. <laughs> that was a really big one, too. Holy crap. Yeah, I, I actually rolled. that's like a oh, holy crap, that was a hell of a roll and holy crap he's still standing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got I got a max on my six, a seven on my eight, and a four on my other eight. So I rolled really high. Um I'm gonna feather out another spell. <laughs> Do protection from evil on myself. And if you kill me, I'm making a gunslinger. <laughs> Dare steps over and he'll toss a bomb. Oh god, here it comes. <laughs> the end of Lonely Sword. If if it's a large creature, you can aim for the back square. Um, if you can see know, the back square. Yeah, I can't. You're going to have to suck it up. 
<laughs> I've been sucking it up the whole time that we've been playing. <laughs> uh, before you got back, uh, he first round of combat, he attacked the troll and killed two goblins just on splash damage. <laughs> All the goblins ended up dying from splash damage. Damn it. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Um Searching the body, uh, you find a, uh, a magnificent spyglass bound in gold. Let's create an item. That is worth approximately a thousand gold pieces. And you find um, some loose coins totaling 75 gold pieces. And um, I don't know why they didn't put this in the description earlier, but uh, he also wears... Um, <laughs> Um, the mummified hands of 20 of his victims um, on him, like as a necklace and so forth. Gotta love it. So was he kind of like the gang leader or something? Um, yeah, he was uh, one of the troll's leaders. And upon examining the uh, other two stairwells, uh, you do not find anything of interest or anyone. Just the strangely barricaded door in the gatehouse. Can we see over by the far side? Can we uh, see uh, what's... Yeah, you sure can. Uh, from, from your vantage point um can we go can we this this is an open top up here uh yes it is open top so My okay. wand you is can completely see used up. oh that's gonna suck yeah it didn't have a lot of charges And guys, uh, that building uh, directly to the north of you, that's actually the second floor to the building to the northeast. Anywhere okay. it's got got those little shaded diagonal lines, that is actually the second floor. Right, this makes us look over the bridge, right? Right. Going to the edge. Okay. And um, looking over it, you see a... Uh, Broad stone terrace uh, it has no rails at the edge. Um, uh, to the north, uh, you see a, um, a stone bridge arching above a waterfall that drops into the river 200 feet below. And actually, three. And on that side, or on the bridge, uh, you do see a troll hound and a troll.
I will run over and leap down. You have a barricaded door to get through first. I am Please. jumping off of the roof. <laughs> and that's how he lost his hand. I am going down the stairs. <laughs> uh. Okay. Um. Would you all like to uh, move into position and then roll for initiative? Oh, he was jumping off the roof, I just assumed. Okay. It's only 20 feet. Okay. I mean, it's after you hit the ground and you don't stop and you slide off the edge of the bridge. That's the fall that gets you. Have you ever jumped down 20 feet before? It's hard. Even jumping down like 5 feet hard on the knees. In real life, we're superheroes. Okay. Uh, Torin, would you and Bajira like to roll initiative? Oh, yeah, sure. Hang on. And you too, Darius. <laughs> and once again, Darius, uh, you're first. All right, he'll start to... I try to move what he can away from the barricaded door. Uh, if everyone helps, it'll take a, a full round to clear the door. I'm helping. Are you going to help or supervise, Bittiger? I'm sorry, what was that? Uh, if everyone helps, it'll take a uh, full round to uh, oh, yeah, clear yeah. the door. Oh yeah, clear that out. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, lonely sword. All right. Hmm. <laughs> I, I I kind of glance up behind me over my shoulder and I see that there's no one there following me. Not that way. And then I'll <laughs> shrug and uh, take a swing. Remember the old adage, if your friends jump off a bridge, are you going to jump? <laughs> we decided not to. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'll five foot step back. <laughs> and... Hmm... I will activate my blessing. So I gain BOF for one round. All right, we're still trying to clear stuff away, ain't we? Yes. Yeah. He'll help, too, for whatever it's worth. Absolutely. Um, the troll hound... Is going to come up and that would give you an attack of opportunity as he comes by you, correct? Yeah, if he's doing that. Uh, uh, yeah, he's going to do that. And dying. Damn. Almost head clanking. Don't worry, guys, I got this. Uh, one second. Cannot spell maneuvers.
And he is at reach. He's going to take a five foot step. And do a full round on Lonely Sword. Rude. And one claw. I'll take it. Don't worry, I'll give it back to you on my turn. All right, so the door is cleared now? <laughs> ah, the door is clear. All right, so Darius will move up and... Um, can he push it open, Is it, or is it a gate? Um, yeah, it, it, it's heavy doors. Okay, so he will open it for Vettiger and... Cool, thank you. Uh, crap. You guys are late. I've already killed one of them. That's as far as I can get. Without, uh... And I responded, now this way the door is open, so if we have to leave, we can. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> um, Lonely Swords hurt. Oh, that was just from you falling? Eh, alright, I'll, I'll heal you if I need to. Nah, he clawed me once. Oh, he caught you once? No, he clawed me for seven, that's it. Okay. So you, you are you are standing on top of the troll dog, by the way. That's okay. Alright. Oh. Uh, wait to go then. I am going to try to tumble through his square and get over to here. <laughs> Winter? Yeah, you you made it. Yep. Yeah, all right, and I will activate my sacred weapon, given my kukri keen until the end uh, for one round, and take a swing at him. So it crits on a fifteen now. Ah, unfair. Alright, all right. The hair is gonna charge in there and attack. Let's see. All right, here we go. Shit, I didn't even think about flanking. That would have been flanking. Does that add any to the damage? No, nah, just a hit. No, what? just two to hit. Just a hit. Take a five step for five foot step forward and unleash the fury.
So what do we get? Hits? Two hits. Two hits. All right. Okay, that was weird. Same damage twice? Yeah. Okay. And he survived another round. He's gonna jump off the bridge in hopes of survival. Slowly, sword keeps tumbling on the bridge with no rails. He might jump off the bridge. <laughs> uh, let's see if he lasts another round. No, I should have went after Bajira. <laughs> Sure, go ahead and laugh. Move up there. Move up then reach and then laugh. <laughs> Come on. Uh, Darius will chuck a bone. I think you should know I haven't hit you once tonight with a bomb. Yet. Don't sell yourself short. <laughs> Alright, um... Alright, uh, yeah, I'm gonna get in there. He gets to take his attack. Oh, wait, you know what? I'm gonna try to acrobatics my way in there. That's still not gonna happen, but... It would be pretty hilarious. Yeah. Vidager, not that graceful. <laughs> I don't know about that. In yeah, you're play, not very graceful. Trust me. <laughs> no points in acrobatics? Yeah, it's not going to go well. Okay, so I'm taking a hit on yeah. Jason. Uh, yes, you are. He is going to try to bite you. Son of a... Do the safe face. <laughs> the pan. Oh, wow. Oh, I thought I missed. My turn. After you instead Could of only grown. sword next time. <laughs> Just to make sure he's dead. Uh, I really thought about trying to uh, drag all off the side of the bridge. Okay. Bridge. Um, you see um, a small cobbled terrace, terrace with a curious looking iron door 
depicting a scout being devoured by ravenous clouds. And to the left of you, 200 feet below, uh, the waterfall uh, plummeting into the depths. Before we cross the rest of the bridge, Darius wants to go back and just search the gatehouse. Because we rushed upstairs. <laughs> okay. Uh, in the gatehouse... Um, you find a small amulet um, depicting uh, a gagged skull. And uh, if anyone would like to make a arcana or religion... Those are the two ones I have. Okay. Um, is this ambulance? Um, you identify it as a symbol of the Whispering Way. It has no magical properties. It's just one of their pieces of bling. And, and did we know anything about the Whispering Way? It came up briefly, didn't it, in, back in the first book? Uh, you know, they are uh, a cruel and secret organization. Um, and philosophy uh, promoting undeath. Uh, they've been active for thousands of years. Um, uh, their beliefs and tenets are whispered from one to another and never written down. Um, you know that they stretch back to the age of darkness. Um, Didn't we see their symbols back at the prison? Uh, yes, you did. And uh, let's see. Da, 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 da. Um, and if I'm not mistaken, they also... Yeah, uh, they were also responsible with the uh, whispering tyrant, tyrant and so forth. Um, you know that a lot of their early history, just due to their oral traditions, have been lost. So that we would know that they had been the ones who invaded Usla centuries ago? Yes. Okay. Um, uh, you know that members of the Whispering Way supposedly make frequent pilgrimages to Ustalof Eustel and so forth. Um, they uh, usually travel to uh, Gallowspear, the prison and the spiritual center of the Whispering Way. And you find uh, 328 gold pieces worth of assorted miscellaneous items.
And that's it for the gatehouse. So they barricaded their own troll friend here on the bridge. Maybe they weren't friends. Maybe he was banished to bridge duty. <laughs> Just find it odd. I'm sure this is not going to get better. Uh, <laughs> I agree completely. I detect evil ahead as we uh, approach the doors. Okay, um... Uh, you're not detecting, uh, evil directly ahead of you, and... Keeping my eye on those arrow slits above us, and that balcony. Also, after I don't detect evil. Um, yeah, you're not detecting... Let's see. Yeah, you're you're not detecting any evil. Okay. Okay. Um, it, this big iron door. Um, yeah, you're standing in front of a big iron door. That is shut. All right, I'm going to walk up to it, stick my adamantine kukri between the two doors, and just slice downwards. I'll get, I'll get a little saw action, too, just back and forth. But... Um... You continually cast Detect Magic, correct? I can. <laughs> uh, um... <coughs> oh, excuse me. Um, did you, before you walk up, walked up to the door? Uh, well, the last time I cast it would have been on the guy's body. I don't just uh, channel it as well. I'll tell you what, uh, make a perception check. We're going to teach you to check for traps. <laughs> teach me? I was doing that every fucking door. For the first module, and there was no traps. I was like, oh, fuck it. <laughs> People are probably getting annoyed by me asking every single time. <laughs> I don't. So I just kind of stopped. Regretting that now, aren't you? Yeah, it's just a trap. What's it going to do? Kill me? <laughs> uh, I hope not. Let's see. Says. Oh, this is too funny. <laughs> okay. Um, I don't like you saying that while I'm on a bridge. I'm glad I'm on the far side. You, you feel...
this. Um, how big is huge? <laughs> three. If, I'm sorry. Three by three. Fifteen by fifteen. Uh, everyone feels this huge, um, rush of air. I did not stop far enough away. <laughs> That's what I was just thinking, too. Yeah, I'm just going to put him right on the bridge. Uh, appear behind you, but in front of, uh, Stairs, who is lingering behind, and you see this large air elemental appear. You've got to be fucking shit, me. And would you like to roll for initiative? Nope. <laughs> See, I know I, I didn't want to do it. Run away. Wow. Okay. Not cool. Uh, first thing it's going to do is uh, since Bajira is closest, going to try to slab into Bajira and does hit. And Torin, you're up. How come I got a sneaking suspicion that arrows don't do much damage to an air elemental? I don't know. Nah, we're fine. We're gonna find out, right? Three misses? Yeah. Man, that sucks. And you missed with a 20. That's not very reassuring. I know, right? I was thinking the same thing. Uh, I don't like that. What are you going to try, Darius? <sighs> um, well, since my uh, tumor familiar is still riding along on Vitager, I'm going to have it use the Blade of Armor infusion on him. Excuse me, what? <laughs> I'm giving you a blade of armor. A blade of armor. Okay, I thought you said a blade of armor. I was, I was like, what the hell is that? Isn't that what the original Enterprise had on it or something from the show? Ah, thank you. Thank you very much. 
Or so yes. I can't remember. Uh, it was, I think it was, um, Deep Space Nine, whatever, The Defiant. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. So yes, it gives you plus two to your armor class, and the first five points of lethal damage that you take from each attack are converted to non-lethal damage. Awesome. Once it's done, um, 30 points of damage, the spell ends. I'm hoping we don't get there. <laughs> I can't tell what squares this thing is in. Yeah. Am, I be, am I beside him here or not? It looks like he's in 15 squares right now. Uh, right there he is. Uh... He's still in too many. No, it's the other ones that are messing with you. Is it? Am I looking at the wrong ones? A little bit. Is it? Well, it looks like the they're on the bridge here. On the on the bridge is two by two. Yeah. See, there you go. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So oh, okay. I'm gonna try to avoid the attack opportunity by tumbling in. Hopefully he's a jabber and not a uh, hook, because if he punches me in the side, I might go flying off the bridge. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's uh, acrobatics against his, what, CMD? Yeah. Uh, no, you did not make it. Yeah, his CMD's probably like 50. <laughs> he's fucking huge. Uh, 38. Yeah, I can't make that, even if I wanted to. <laughs> even if I rolled natural 20, I wouldn't make that. Uh, the good news is that in that 200 and some foot drop, you've got enough time to say your prayers on the way down. My swim is as good as my acrobatic. <laughs> Actually, I put some points into that so that I don't drown. That was good of me. Is he going to attack me? Oh, I'm sorry. The elemental forgot you should just go with it. <laughs> <laughs> Bam. Ha. Wow, I can't believe he, he must have rolled really badly on the dice. I uh, guess he did. <laughs> I am okay with that. Uh, I'm going to Sacred Weapon and give my weapon Keen. I don't remember if Elemental is... I don't think I have Knowledge Planes. Yeah, I don't know if they're immune to crit or not. I think Elementals might be. Oh, it doesn't matter when you roll like that. And I will Fever out. Uh, am I hurt? I am a little hurt. I'll fever out a heal. Eh, just enough to heal me. Pretty sure we're going to have Bahira kind of stand back so that uh, Vidager can get up there if so desired. Yes, yes, I, I do desire, regretfully. <laughs> All right. Uh, if he has an attack of opportunity, I'm granting him one, clearly. Uh, I'm figuring he probably does. Didn't he use that up already on uh, Lonely Sun? Yes, he did. Are you good? Of course, Ready he has your... multiple. Uh, 
Okay. I right, had to move 10 feet there. Okay, so, yep, I'm going to go in there and let's see what I can. I just need to check what, um. Oh, never mind, it's a standard action. Uh, all right. Yeah. I'll take it. Now I'm really going to take it. I have garnered his attention. Uh, yes, you have. Oh, I can do this for a while. Boom. Wowza. I can partially resist him. <clears throat> and he's going to take a five foot step. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I foot glide. Uh, Does that get that got some of that got I'm turned into subdual, yeah. right? Yes, five of the damage should have gone to subdual instead okay. of strict damage. I'll add that in. I thought it had already been accounted for to some degree. Okay. Oh! There you go. I like that. Oh, yeah. Now we'll find out if they're immune to crit. <laughs> Does it? it? It will do it automatically. Does on it automatically uh, calculate the critical there? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Just, just roll your damage. If he, if the elemental set up right, it should just do it automatically if he's immune. Yep, he's immune. Well, he could, he he partially resisted my attack too, so I think he also just has damage reduction. We don't. Yeah, well, the elementals have the elementals oh. have DR, but I think they're also immune to crit, so it cuts the damage in half, then applies the DR. Good. Now, do I got to roll damage for the other one that hit as well? Yes. Yeah. But you need to, it looks like their DR is 10. Yep, oh, that seems no. cool, right? No, that's not. Or no, 5. Yeah, their yeah. DR 5. There you go. Remember, bows are All 3 right. times we damage. damage. That's why it yes. reduces so much. And yes, they are actually immune to crit. I thought all mentals were, but Damn I couldn't man. remember. The one time I get a freaking crit. <laughs> <laughs> it was two natural 20s as well. I know, right? <laughs> All right, that's probably my turn. Oh wait, maybe I should take a five foot step as well. <laughs> oh wait. <laughs> oh. <laughs> ah, don't worry, he doesn't get any cover from us. He's too big. You can aim at the square that's three spots above our head. That's very true, right? All right, Darius, take him out. Yeah, I don't think we're taking out the arrow mental. What are you talking about? He's already wounded. We, we gave him a paper cut. And unfortunately, I don't have enough invisibility spells for everyone. Just start hucking bombs at him. Mm, all right, I'll... Possible, and I'm gonna take a five foot step back. So <laughs> run away! <laughs> well, we're on the other side of him, so we aren't running anywhere. No, yeah. that's why I was looking into invisibility. He probably sees invisible though, so I'm. He's probably a blind sense. 
tremor sense. No, that's Earth Elementals. Blind sense is echolocation, though, and he's a wind elemental, so I figured that would go along with their type. So I missed. Where were you aiming? I uh, just like straight at him in the middle of him, so it goes off the side. Um, I I I I don't know. That might just completely fall off the bridge. Well, you were aiming here. No, well, no, one more up. Oh, then yeah. it would land here. Because remember, um, the... a seven, one is top, is it not? So it's the other side. Oh yeah, that's right. That's the other way around. Yeah, uh, so it yeah, falls off, the, it falls off the bridge. Yeah, look. Oh. I mean, that's lucky for us, so we don't get exploded again, but bad for you. Well, it wouldn't have hit you anyways, because of where I aimed you. It, the splash would have only hit it. It's All only right, a well, five-foot radius. But yes, uh, you know, better it going off the bridge than hitting the rest of you. No point in trying to dodge his attack opportunity, so I will just run over to the other side of him to flank. Ouch. Yeah, that's kind of expecting that. Ooh, that was a low damage. I like it when he rolls poorly. Flanking! Uh, screw it. I'll take her to... Uh, no, never mind. I won't. Uh, swing. Oh my god. Well, this fight has been going well for me so far. Your cat can get in there now. No worries. Yeah, I see that. There's a spot opened up. Just so you guys know, um, if a creature is more than two sizes, two sizes or more over you, you can walk through their squares and share spaces with them. Which is why I could walk through him there. It's like running between the legs of a giant, you know? Yeah. That's not going to do it. Claw, claw, hurry! Well, that was over fast. Swing don't you have, don't you have, have one attack? I think so. It, it still is a single. Isn't it still a single? Or is it a double on that one, too? What's your pet? Five foot step, you could... You, you can full attack there. He should have two claws if it's a cat. That was a bite. Yeah, he should have a bite and two Can claws. Can you do the bite and the claws? Yeah, yeah. yeah you get yeah. all of them. Well, hell. If, if you manage to give him wings, you can give him wing attacks, too, so we can do all five of them. And if you're grappling someone, you get two rakes as well. So you get seven. Okay. <laughs> Still missed, but, you know, I, I like the extra effort. Okay, I'm going to keep at it. A nice thing to get for your pet, too, would be an Amulet of Mighty Fist. You can make his uh, natural attacks magical and give him properties. And a whole lot of nothing. Yeah, man, we're just rolling really poorly. And I'm going to well, heal myself as a bad. swift action. All right, that was not good, but that heals both lethal and non-lethal, right? For six? Yeah. You don't have Wait. that set up? No. Uh -huh. All right. Now let's get hit again. 
Okay, let's see. Since neither one of you all hit, the Jira missed as well. Uh, unfortunately, it's Vitager. And uh, he, Natural slam 20s. Natural 20s. he slams into you not once, but twice. Yay! I could hurt him if I could land a hit. Yay! So did I already resist the five? It says I partially resisted, but then I don't see anything in up subdual. So I just add ten to subdual? Uh, you, no, because you healed your subdual. So you'd add another five and take it from your main damage. Right, I got right? hit twice, though. Oh, so, and he did 21 damage total. You had three. Yeah, oh, okay. so you need to take five from your 24 and put it in subdual instead. Well, he hit me twice, so I should take 10 off my 24. Yes. Ah, yes, yeah. No, you can do that. Okay. Ow. So what's this called? A blade barrier? A blade, A of, blade barrier. of barrier. All right, I'll chuck another ball, madam, because... Ugh. Oh, yeah, no, unfortunately, that's where it goes. So it's going to splash the elemental, uh, like Fira and Vitager. Okay, Vitager, this, the spell's giving you DR5 as well as converting some of the damage, which is why you're resisting some. So it looks like everyone's saved. So that means the elemental, Bahira, and Vitager all take four points of damage. Well, I don't know. I the elemental on whatever resistances it might have to acid damage, I guess. Immune. Probably. Man, we haven't hit this thing in like three rounds. <laughs> You said four points of damage. Uh, yeah. It only converts. It doesn't actually take off. So is it doing something wrong? Am I taking off too much damage? No. It's okay. not actually blocking anything. Oh, okay. Okay, so Vitager gets four more points of damage. Where do they go? <laughs> that would be in the actual wounds. Yeah, it's energy damage, right? Well, uh, yeah, acid. Okay. Done. You shouldn't do acid vinegar, you're a paladin. He wants to expand his mind, he's not a Catholic paladin. Anything else you want to do, Darius? I know, I will. That's it. Oh, mm, no. You guys also all had flanking last round, even though you didn't use it. God damn it. I hit. Finally, he got some damage in. He's still only wounded, however. Oh, sir. Ah, shit. I forgot to redo my favor. It fell off. I had to favor out another divine favor. I would have been three extra damage, damn it. Get him, kitty. 
All right, let's try that again. They said like Kenny from South Park. He's he's moderately wounded, isn't he? Well, heavy is means he's over half. He still looks like air, so hard to say. <laughs> yeah. A lot of blood coming out of the air. Maybe it's just, you know, stray wind gusts. Okay, still there. He's still there. We're all still there. I still all right. Um, wounded, not even heavily wounded. Gonna attack again and heal myself. All right, at least there was a hit. All right, he's hurt. He's not the only one. And that was a good heal. Nice. Uh, yeah, I see what's going on with your barrier. You get DR5 all. It converts, though. It just it, it's supposed to convert it to uh, non-lethal. It's not just a flat DR. No, the, the ability itself is supposed to give you DR, DR5 all, but only versus non-lethal. So you actually right. no, no, no. lethal gets turned into non-lethal. You could look it up under the spells, Alchemist level two. I just read it to make sure. Yes, I know, but that's not what it does. What you you've been getting hit, and every time he hits you, it takes five off of the damage he hits you, and then you take another five off of your life and put it into your subdual. That's ten damage you're preventing from every single hit. No, that's not what it does. I know that's not what it does. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. So, so it's only supposed to convert the first five points of lethal damage into non-lethal damage when I get hit. Yes, it's not supposed to give you DR five. Right, I'm not treating it that way. You have is DR5 on you as an effect. Oh, that's okay, what I'm saying. I didn't know that. It's the... that. That's what I was saying, you have DR5 okay, on you. Okay, so I should have 20 that more points of damage. That part just needs to be then. removed. So I, should have, so I should have 20 more points of damage. Okay, cool. And then we're taking the DR5 off, right? Yeah, that, that, that DR5 is only versus non-lethal. The spell does do it, but only versus non-lethal. Okay, this time he's going to try to... <sighs> slam Lonely Sword. And he misses on one and hits on one. Sorry, I'm into tinier creatures. Nothing against you and your size. I just prefer them smaller. And with holes. Oh, we'll whittle away little by little. I just want to point out how difficult it is to shoot an arrow in air and damage it. Don't you have three attacks? Uh, if I do the rapid shot feet, but I get a minus two, so since it's so hard to hit, I was just doing the two attacks. Thinking I'd get a better chance of actually hitting. He's heavily wounded now, and it looks like so are all of us. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anything else you want to do, Torn? Ah, oh, shit. No, I'm good. <sighs> Garris will toss another bomb.
and then you'll have a streamer familiar uh, heal moments, uh, heal uh, literature. All right, I'm just gonna keep swinging. Well, that looks impressive until I roll the damage and he's immune. Oh, nice heal. There. Oh, I killed it. Yeah, and how do you coup de grace the wind? <laughs> <laughs> hey, you don't. As soon as it goes to dine, it disappears and goes back to the plane of air. <laughs> So many creatures don't stay around after they hit dying. We don't know it left, though. <laughs> <laughs> Is we the might... air punching you anymore? No? Then it's gone. <laughs> we might want to consider retreating to the gatehouse and, you know, camping for the night. In the enemy's stronghold? <laughs> well, we can secure the gatehouse at least. By barricading I, it. That's it. I was going to say, I bet you that's why I was barricaded. Too. Uh, we'll have, have to, barricade to barricade both, both sides. Doors. I, I say that we just walk off and let the mob come in and do this. <laughs> I don't think this place needs our help. We're, we're, we're clearing the way for the mob. Well, given that we found, like, either the trolls or the goblins have an emblem of the whispering way on them. You know, it's possible that it's not the castle that's unfriendly. Do we know that they aren't invaders? Hey, the enemy of my enemy is still my enemy. <laughs> well, we don't know that the, whoever's in the castle is our enemy. They're evil trolls and members of the Whispering Way. But again, we don't know if they're, you know, the regular guards here or if they've taken the castle. Hey, guys, I gotta go AFK for about two minutes. All right. Only sword is the wand pretty hurt. The wand exploded. It's done. It's over. Ah, okay. I had six charges when I got here. All right. Um, you want me? To, I I can heal a few people. I have some heals too, but then I will be almost out. I've still got. I spells. have six left. I can. Uh, is this? Do we have full maximum heal when we heal out of combat in this one? I haven't heard that. I'm back. Winter, are you doing max heals out of combat? Uh, yes, I am. See, I thought so. What do you mean you haven't heard that before? You just I haven't heard that. that. Um, all right, so if I can do that, that. Um, I'm going to heal Bagheera and Lonely Sword each then for 18. You... Uh... You could just channel if you're going to use two charges of your lay on hands. True. And we heal I'll everybody for 18. <laughs> Which was just me, the other person. <laughs> <laughs> but it heals you fully. That is true. And then uh, Torin, you'll have to go in and change them. Oh, you got it. All right. Yeah, I did it. 
Thank you, sir. Okay. Um. So what are we going to do? Are we going to go rest for a night? I'll do whatever. I would suggest that might be our might be a good course of action. But if you guys want to press on, I guess we could try to find somewhere in the castle proper. I just don't know. <laughs> We're going to have to deal with those people coming here then. Uh, most of the crowd is um, of the mob is coming on foot. So, you know, you come by horseback. So uh, you would have time to uh, secure the doors a little bit better, you know, pile troll bodies up against the inside of them, you know. Make it a little the more inside difficult. Of them. I'm going to put them outside. <laughs> right? <laughs> Troll heads on stakes. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, you do have, um, you know, uh, I'd say you got 10 hours or so. Because, you, you know, they're angry and disorganized. And, you know, they're not going to be the quickest thing. So if you'd like to take an overnight rest, you can. All right. I would, I would um, like to take several. I will use my... Um, well, you're not going to be working on any magic items, so I'm going to cast um, Keep Watch on myself. What? I can't? Why not? You, you want to do that? Oh. All right. I don't think you and want to. I'll use my extracts on my sword and back here to finish healing them up too. We'll, we'll heal this naturally from sleeping. Do we heal that much? I didn't think we healed that much. From One sleeping. hit point per level. Yeah. And if, we get jumped in, and if we get jumped in the middle of the night, you, want, might, you might want your extracts. All right, so I'll cast that on Lonely Sword then. Mm hmm Okay. And overnight rest it is. We weren't interrupted at all? Uh, no, you were not. <laughs> Woohoo! You know, you heard a few strange sounds, but... Uh, if I'm up at all, I do want to try to keep a lookout from the top of the tower and just see if I see Leland or, you know... I mean, there's bridges, there's arrow slits, balconies. I just want to see if there's any activity. So I spent the night channeling my magic into my weapon, and it turned into a plus one adamantine kukri. What do you know? <laughs> uh, let's see... Somehow, mysteriously, a hundred uh, platinum pieces disappeared off my body as well. I don't know why. Uh, you can hear... strange noises coming from different parts of the... Uh, Of the castle, but um, you're not seeing any light in the windows or anything like that. Everything is uh, pretty damn dark. What time of day is it now? Well, n now it's morning time. But Excellent. When, Let's get when Vodiger was keeping watch, you know, nothing out of the ordinary. No, I only sort of wound up keeping watch. I used the spell for him so he could work on his uh, kukri. Yes. Okay. Uh, you're back outside this large iron door. And it is locked. That too? Uh, detect uh, magic on the door. 
You are not detecting any magic on the door. Yours will still go check for traps. And I will check for traps. I can check for traps. I can do it. I can, I'm, I, I can do I can. it better. I, I mean, yesterday might have been something else, but I can do it. <laughs> he will uh, take the Crypt Breaker's tra- uh, drop, too, before he does it. And he gets plus three from his trap finding. Okay. Um, you are not finding any traps. Kukri sliding in between the doors. Slice my way downtown. Uh, let's see. This door has a hardness of 10, a break DC of 28. <laughs> I ignore all of that. <laughs> Adamantine automatically ignores any DR under 20. And or any hardness under 20, sorry. Okay, I'll let you do that a couple of times and actually get inside. And let me close a few windows. Counters three. That's me uh, doing the uh, saw motion as I slice through the door. Just the sawing away. Must look funny from the inside. And that is a... Thought I had a picture of that guy. What the fuck was that? <laughs> uh, my business partner has, uh, he's, he yeah, he's snapped. He's had a day. <laughs> okay. Um, Opening the door, uh, the first thing you notice is there's this huge portrait above an enormous lit fireplace. Uh, You see a steep uh, set of steep stairs rising to the right. Um, And you see a strange... Um, a strange object of, let's see, he goes over there. Um, you see the strange animated object of metal and flesh uh, lurking under the stairs. And as the... um, Uh, this thing is predominantly a thing made out of metal and wire. Uh, however, this uh, construct has some organic parts that seem more for decoration than for a purpose. And it's taking, uh, it comes forward into the room five feet. And it takes these awkward hobbling steps and 
uh, it frequently rests itself on two huge uh, sickle-like format or forearms. And let me see. I know I had a picture here. It's a Leland 2.0. I guess I do not have an image of him. So anyway, uh, he's uh, stepping into the room and, or stepping out from underneath the stairs. And you all are aware of him. Um, let's uh, roll for initiative and you're not necessarily in combat, but let's go in initiative order. We aren't until that first swing. Okay. Torin, you are up. See, that's what I hate about it, getting a high initiative when it's a talking round. Uh, so we haven't really classified him as an enemy yet, have we? You haven't. Everyone's an enemy to Lone Sword. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just waiting for the day you try to shoot me in the back. Uh, you can do a sense motive if you'd like. I'm good. Uh, Torin, you really have no idea what its motives are. Kind of figured. <laughs> and I'm going to make a big note to replace this map. You said it was shambling towards us, correct? Uh, yes. Well, at the time, it's pretty much shambling toward the open door. And, uh, Darius, uh, you have a good idea that it's probably going to attack you. It looks hostile to me. Damn that point blank. Would the fort hit? Uh, do, 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 14 would not hit. That is my round. Oh boy. Back to back. Um, okay, I've got a question. Uh, this thing has a hardness of 10. Mm hmm So, could it have not taken zero damage from the bite attack? Uh, yeah, you'll have to put DR10 on it. That's what I was thinking. Put uh, DR10 Adamant on. 
because my adamantine weapon will overcome that. Do I say that out loud? I can use those adamantine arrows. Uh, let's see. Actually, so it wouldn't take anything yet. Yep. Okay, Darius. Darius will chuck a bomb. Into the back corner. And I'm assuming it is a construct. Yes. Okay. Uh, I don't know why it rolled twice. Uh, do I have two things targeted? No. Yeah, you targeted Vittager. Oh, did I? What? You missed him. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't seriously going after you, you know, it was just, you know, a play thing. So that should have just been, why did it not take the DR? So you actually damaged it for 17. He, her bomb is magic. Ah, goes up. DR is only for attacks, physical uh, weapons. That's right. You would need acid resistance to stop her. Or him. I can't tell. The beard doesn't let me know. <laughs> I'm not a dwarf. And once again, I forget to do my fever until after I hit. And technically, you didn't have planking, but. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I definitely didn't have Lancaster. <laughs> uh, you still hit. All right. Okay. Uh, it's going to take a... I put step, not that it needs it. But it's gonna do a full round on Lonely Sword, which are two slams. And it hit with one. All right. Uh... I will get close and wait for an opening. Yeah. Okay. All right. Did you say out loud that we can use the adamantine to uh, damage? Uh, well, I noticed that my end of anti weapon goes through it, but I did not say anything. Uh -huh. You can make a perception and say if you noticed. <laughs> yeah, I'll do that. Hang on. 
Japan, you definitely saw every inch of the damage that Lonely Sword's weapon did. Good deal. God dang point blank shot. Two hits. Two hits. The hell was that one in the middle? Why were there were no you? pluses on that? Oh, that's right, because it's. I never mind. I know why. And, used up. <clears throat> yep, go ahead. Yeah, uh, he just stops hobbling <laughs> and no longer moves. Sweet. I want to check out the apparatus. Scientific curiosity, you understand. Uh, yes, uh, once again, it's a thing of primarily uh, metal and wire. Um, it does have some organic parts, but they seem like just decoration. Um, hey, I gotta go tuck my little girl in. I'll be right back. Yeah, not a problem. Uh, the portrait above the fireplace... Um, you figure is probably Count Caromac, and it shows him as a uh, deeply curious man surrounded by objects in his museum. Um, let's see. Can uh, anyone that's looking at the painting, uh, can you make a perception check? Okay. Um... Lonely Sword, as you're looking into um, this painting, um, one of the objects in this painting is a mirror uh, behind the count. And in that mirror, uh, you can see the reflection of a four-armed white ape. And he has clearly visible stitching over his body. Right, back. But looking into the portrait, you see a mirror behind the count. And inside that mirror, you can see the reflection of a four-armed white ape. And you have stairwell leading up, and you have uh, three doors in this room. Ooh. 
Which way would you like to go? Well, I'll ask for a sign from above and then see that there's an arrow with a word that says pointing up. Yeah, I can't believe I drugged the wrong map into this module. <laughs> and I will touch a vinegar and cast a spell. Should we not um, explore? clear out this floor before we head upstairs. Oh, we don't nice. want anything coming up behind us. Lonely sword? <laughs> oh, I guess. All right, I'll go over and check this door. Okay, um, well, the door is not locked, and opening it up, um, it's a storeroom. Um, it's crammed with um, items in boxes and on shelves. Uh, you can smell beeswax in the air. Uh, this particular room... is uh sorry <laughs> uh, this room is a storeroom for coal for the fireplaces and there are two doors two additional doors in this room Check the right door first. Okay. Uh, you don't find any traps. Um, and this is a larder, and it is stocked with... Uh, all kinds of excellent foodstuffs. Lunchtime. And there's another door uh, leading out of that room. The least the Count can do is feed us since he's sucking his entire castle on us. North or east? Uh, well, there's nothing in this room. We could shut this door and go to the north. Keep sound down. Okay, through the north. Um... This is a large kitchen. Uh, you, you see a uh, large stove, uh, several workbenches, and a spice cabinet. Uh, you do see a bell hanging above the stove, connected to a rope and a set of pulleys. Any preference, Lonely Sword? Uh, uh, I'm going to go through here and open the door over here. Or, well, check it first, yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. And this one is A. Okay. Uh, this storeroom contains uh, furniture, 
polish and mops and brooms and torches and uh, other simple tools for the servants in their daily chores. And there are two doors in this room. Um, do the south door first. All right, I'm going to keep moving along. Uh, that is a storeroom as well. And then you have the door in front of you. Yeah, I did a good job of hiding these secret doors. I sense a secret <laughs> door in this room. We should probably <laughs> check. Uh... Okay, uh, this is the dining hall. Um, the vaulted ceiling of this large room is adorned with uh, gilt. Um, you see a pair of halberds hanging above a huge fireplace in the far wall. Um, a great dining table and 12 chairs take up um, up the center of the room. And everybody make a perception check. Uh, did we check this one little room back here? Yeah, that was the larder. Okay. Yeah, that was where the count bought you lunch. Okay, um... You all notice that secret door, and you notice that secret door, and you notice that secret door, and <clears throat> you also notice that There is a large buildup of dust around the chair legs. Like this room just hasn't truly been used in some time. And uh, the two halberds on top the fire above the fireplace are masterwork. Are there any candles next to the fireplace? Candlesticks, anything like that? Candelabras? Uh, yeah, there's a couple of candelabras. I'm going to remove the candles. They worked in the movie Frankenstein. See if the door revolves or something like that. Should Put we... the candle back. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, Should we be looting the count's plates as we go? <laughs> or are we leaving his, you know, all birds in place? Uh, or anything else that might be of value? I say we take note of it for our exit if it doesn't proceed well. <laughs> that seems fair. Okay. Um. Which secret door would you like to check first? <laughs> One where the arrow's pointing. And we do the ones on the south. What about the doors in the hallway here? Okay, the one where the arrow is pointing. Um, it was a smoking room. 
Uh, you see uh, two plush chairs uh, sitting around a cramped um, tobacco stained room. Uh, you see numerous tobacco jars um, standing on a shelf next to a pipe rack. And um, uh, the tobacco jars are filled with various uh, exotic tobacco mixes. Um, among the mundane pipes, um, you see a calabash set with six small jets. It's worth about 75 gold pieces. And a long church warder, warden with a gold tooth guard. And that's worth about 50 gold pieces. And that's it for the room to the south. Uh, the other room to the south is a library. Uh, you know, the shelves are crammed with... Uh, Books and a com comfortable leather chair sits in the room center. Um, the books in here are all about engineering. Mm -hmm. Interesting. What was the age of like the tobacco and stuff? Did it look like it was still fresh or was it, you know, like it was old and dried out? Uh, yeah, it, it's pretty fresh. And then the uh, secret, the secret door to the north there uh, opens up into a hallway, which uh, <clears throat> exit outside and to one of the other buildings. We should look around and finish this floor, and then there's still the upstairs. Yeah, I agree. I'm going to take a pinch or two to, of that, some nice tobacco that smells good, fill it up with my, fill my pipe up and light it up. And you find out it's weed. <laughs> <laughs> Make it sound like that's a bad thing. Uh... Well, hey, you know, Lonely Sword will loan you some money for it. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. Um, the big room there in the southeast corner is a, uh, there's a billiards table uh, filling up most of this chamber, and you see a uh, rack of cues on one wall. You see a brass and gold score checker, Worth about 90 gold pieces hanging by the door. And the two rooms at the bottom um, are crammed with uh, taxidermid animals and stuffed heads there uh, it is both rooms are the hunting trophy rooms and sadly the entire collection is worth about 300 gold pieces any black panthers <laughs> uh, there's one. <laughs> oh boy <laughs> That's the part you find weird? <laughs> no, I just wonder about what his re Bagheera's reaction is going to be to that. Okay. Are we ready to go upstairs? I think so.
Okay, back to G3. Okay, put everybody over there. I have no idea what that little area is supposed to be beside the stairs. Oh, it's the downstairs. It's open up. It's open. Um, I was gonna say maybe it's a loft. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, no, it's just it's an it's it's so it's to look like there's a railing, and then you can see down to the first floor. Okay. Um, there are three doors in the hallway. Which way you want to go first? Might as well start with the door right next to me, which I'm not going to open and look at. Someone who's good at this. <laughs> hey, look, there was a giant air elemental that popped out of someone touching the door, so you know. Okay, uh, it opens up into a... Uh... <laughs> I hate to call it a room, but uh, it's... Got two other doors, five foot in. <laughs> yeah, this okay. is an insane home designer. I was Absolutely. Starting to question the architect. Okay, we'll take the bottom one first. Um. <clears throat> This opens up into a bedroom. Uh, you see white sheets covering a four-poster bed. There's a wardrobe and a dressing table. Uh, you do see a door in the uh, southeast wall. I'll inspect the door and try to open it. Okay. Um, you do manage to jimmy it open, and uh, it leads out onto a narrow stone balcony. Uh, it has no handrails, but it does offer a spectacular view over the falls. And naturally, you can see the bodies that you've slain <laughs> on the uh, walkway beneath. And the door beside Lonely Sword. Um, 13. Um, this neat bedchamber also holds a uh, four-poster bed surrounded by oak furniture. And um, you see a wardrobe, a dressing table, a chest, and a tall dressing mirror. And just by the uh, decor of the room, um, you have a feeling that this is probably the Count's personal chambers. Okay. Um, I would like to inspect the beds, the wardrobes, see if they look like they've been recently, you know, utilized, that kind of stuff, or if it looks like things have been empty, uh, clothes, if they're moth-eaten, stuff like that. Okay, uh, the wardrobe is crammed full of fine men's clothing. There's noble outfits, a couple of scholars' outfit, even one royal outfit. Um, on the dressing table, uh, you know, you find a jewelry 
jewelry box, um, a gold snuff box. Uh, there's a platinum handed or handled magnifying glass. Uh, there's a monocle with a silver chain. And, you know, everything looks like, um, well, this room has been dusted. The clothes aren't moth-eaten. Don't really want to be caught in someone else's bed chambers when we're uninvited in the house. Well, I mean, we fought pretty hard to get here, and this is his quarters. Um, it's probably worth rummaging in depth through here and see if we can get, you know, is there, is there just the cabinet, is there a desk or any, you know, anything where we might find some personal items that might give us some insight into him? Um, and, and not like a uh, normal desk where he'd have notes and so forth. Okay. Um, there we go. Okay, and that's all you see in this room. To start out so interesting, uh, <laughs> the rest of this building's been kind of boring. <laughs> Let's clear up the last room, or presumably the last okay. room. Okay. Uh, the room in the middle, um, right there, villager. Um, okay. You see uh, three simple cots are arranged within this chamber. Uh, you see numerous drawings and books littering a nearby table. Um The books on the table are engineering and technical manuals. Um, area. Darius. <laughs> yeah. Well, you uh, know, if we don't find anyone here, we might be coming back for those books. Uh, from your view on... From the uh, towers and from the gatehouse, you can't see, uh, if you look at the uh, northern portion of your map, uh, this part of the castle has been damaged and the description was talking about the collapsed stone bridge and a narrow wooden bridge um, as a... Uh, Temporary replacement. Uh, you see on the table drawings of the plans to rebuild the stone bridge there. And then the following room. is another guest bedroom. <laughs> and guys, this is, uh, since we've cleared the first building, this is probably a good time to call it quits. All right. Sounds good. Sounds good. All right. And once again, there is no game next Monday, but I will see you on July 3rd. Sounds good. Cool. good. Alrighty. All right. Thanks for a great game, guys, and we'll see you in two weeks. See you then. Yeah. See you, everybody. Thanks. Bye. Later. User disconnected from your Thanks. channel. Disconnected.